Well, this is some good news. My video editing software is working, but it's not normal, so the quality of this video will look different from previous uploads. Anyway, because here's the thing. Modern women are dating and moving today with this conservation mentality. Since the rise of Kevin Samuels, I've been thinking to myself, what exactly is a modern woman? Some say they're referring to women after second wave feminism. Others claim that it's women between the ages of 18 and 40. But when I use the term modern women, I'm talking about women from the ages of 18 to 40. So, so 18, so pretty much um, young to middle aged women. So that's what you're talking about. That, those are modern women. Yes, sir. The one thing I know about history is that there is nothing new under the sun. So being a trained historian that I am, despite what trolls like to say, I went to the archives and, okay, uh, I didn't do that. But instead, I went to my account on newspaper.com and searched for any reference to modern women. It didn't take me long. I came across this article from a local newspaper in Birmingham, Alabama in 1952 that asked the question whether modern women were worse than their predecessors. I found this quote, quote, we're all pushovers for the alleged glamour of the past and commentators have very little trouble selling us on a story that once upon a time before the disastrous mistake of feminism, women were not only good and happy, but as happy as a kitten on a hearth. The article goes on to paint the reality for women prior to the 1920s, in which their husband could easily divorce them for infidelity, but they couldn't do the same. How a husband could sell, lease, and mortgage his wife's property without her consent, appropriate her bank balance, and could easily take children away from her. In a nutshell, many women were stuck in marriages they didn't want. The article ended with this passage. The truth is that the good old days were nothing of the kind, and the first step to happiness is to begin living fully in our era without nostalgia and self-pity or delusion of returns to yesterday. It's kind of sad that this message is from 1952 and ring true today. As I stated in writing, much of the red pill sells retrograde patriarchal ideas and a desire to return to a past that never existed. If you have the time, I highly suggest you check out a lecture by historian Stephanie Kuntz, who discussed liberal and conservative myths about the American family. I left a link down below. The notion of a modern woman is nothing more but an insinuation that women at some point went astray, but you'll find that notion floating around throughout all points of the 20th century. It's nothing more but nostalgia gone unchecked.